Welcome back to the details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a phone call with Pope Tawadro II, the head of the Egyptian Orthodox Church, offering the head of state's condolences over the victims of Abu Sifin Church fire in Giza on Sunday. During their telephone conversation, the head of state said state institutions are providing all needed support to contain the repercussions of the painful tragedy. On his social media account, the head of state said he is closely following up on developments over the painful accident. Accident. He directed concerned state institutions to take all necessary measures to swiftly deal with the accident and its repercussions and provide health care to the injured. Meanwhile, President Sisi gave his instructions to the Armed Forces Engineering Authority to restore the church after the fire which resulted in the death of 41 people and in the injury of 14 others. The head of the Armed Forces Engineering Authority Major General Hisham El Suwafi held a phone call with Pope Tawadro II to extend his deep condolences and to inform him of the head of state's directives for the reconstruction of the church. This came and in the same context, the Armed Forces General Command extended its condolences for the victims of the Giza Church fire on Sunday and offered its deep condolences for the families of the victims and all Egyptians. It also wished a speedy recovery for the injured. Meanwhile, the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Al-Imam Al-Akbar Sheikh Ahmed Al-Tayyib, and the Mufti of the Republic, Dr. Shawqi Alam, offered their condolences to Pope Tawadros, the head of the Egyptian Orthodox Church, over the church's accident. The Foreign Ministry also released a statement to pay its condolences. A number of Arab states, including Jordan, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates, further offered their condolences to Egypt over the accident. Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghaid condoled Egypt and the Coptic Church, wishing a speedy recovery for the injured. For her part, First Lady Mrs. Intisar Sisi also offered her deep condolences to families of the victims of the Giza Church. The First Lady wished a speedy recovery for the injured worshippers. To continue with the, the same issue, Guardians of the Nation or Humet al Watan Party offered their deep condolences to families of the church's victims and wished a speedy recovery for the injured. The party hailed the efforts exerted by the political leadership and state institutions for its quick step and response and the procedures taken to decrease the repercussions of the church's accident. To the head of the National Media Authority, Hussein Zain, who offered his condolences to Pope Tawadr II, the head of the Egyptian Orthodox Coptic Church, the Patriarch of the Alexandria Patriarch, and families of the victims and all cops over the death of 41 people in the fire that erupted in Abu Sifin Church in western Munira in Baba on Sunday. In a statement, Zain confirms stand beside the nation's partner to face this painful tragedy that hurt all citizens in the society. He wished a speedy recovery for the injured. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli said £100,000 would be paid to the families of the dead and £20,000 to the injured in the church fire. The Premier expressed the government's condolences over the incident. Earlier, Madbouli inspected the site of the fire, during which he said he was following up closely on efforts by the state institutions in relation to the incident and instructed to offer full health care to the injured upon presidential directives. The Health Ministry said it had sent 30 ambulances to the scene at the Abu Sifin Church area in Imbaba. The Ministry spokesperson said 55 people were transferred to the Imbaba Aguza hospitals for treatment. The spokesman said the hospitals in Giza and Cairo governorates rates were put on high alert, adding that blood supplies and emergency medicines are provided in all health facilities receiving the injured worshippers.
Giza Governor Ahmed Rashid inspected the Abu Safin church fire scene in Mbaba. He said the governorate is in full alert over the incident and is dealing with the repercussions of the tragedy. The governor visited the injured in Al Aguza hospital and said health care is being provided to the injured until their full recovery. He entrusted the Social Solidarity Directorate to give an emergency assistance of £50,000 to families of the dead and £10,000 to the injured families. To the Interior Ministry, which issued a statement on Sunday over the church fire in Giza. The statement said security services were informed of the fire inside the church in the western Munir area in Mbaba, Giza, at around 9 a.m. It said civil protection forces were immediately sent to the scene. The fire was put off, and the dead and injured were transferred to hospitals. The statement said two officers and three civil protection personnel were injured. According to the statement, the forensic authority determined that the fire broke out because of an electrical fault in air conditions conditioner on the church's second floor which houses lecture halls it said smoke resulted in the death and injuries adding that all legal procedures are being taken meanwhile the state's prosecutor inspected the site of the accident and opened an investigation over the fire that erupted in the church <coughs> <coughs> We are still with our local news with President Abdel Fattah Sisi who witnessed the swearing in of new ministers on Sunday. Rida Hegazi sworn in as Minister of Education. Hani Atif Swailam, Minister of Irrigation. Khaled Abdel Ghaffar, Minister of Health. Muhammad Ayman Ashour, Minister of Higher Education. Soha Samir, Minister of Immigration. Ahmad Isa Taha, Minister of Tourism. Ahmad Samir Mahmoud, Minister of Trade and Industry. General Muhammad Abbas, Minister of Civil Aviation. Hassan Muhammad Hassan Shahata, Minister of Manpower. Naveen Yusuf Al Kilani, Minister of Culture. Hisham Amna, Minister of Local Development. Mahmoud Mustafa Asmat, Minister of Public Business Sector. Muhammad Salah Din, Minister of Military Production. This came as President Abdel Fattah Sisi convened a meeting on Sunday with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and the new ministers after they took oath in the presidential palace at the new Alamein city. President Sisi called on the new ministers to show objectivity, dedication and exert the utmost efforts to prioritize the interests of the nation and to have direct contacts with the citizens. Also on Sunday, President Abdel Fattah Sisi appointed Major General Mahmoud Fouad Mohammed Abdel Gawad Abdel Razik as the new Air Force Commander. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has warned Russian soldiers who shoot at Europe's largest nuclear power station or use it as a base to shoot from that they will become a special target for the Ukrainian forces. Let's have